What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am in my Lexus GX470. I think I'm gonna try to build something today. If I show you the view from the driver's seat, you'll notice that there's really nowhere to mount anything. There's nowhere to mount a phone, nowhere to mount a tablet, or in this case, a GoPro. There's a handful of things out there on the internet like this that essentially use rev nuts to mount onto the dashboard. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is making my own version. Yeah, I'm gonna be making a template and tracing it out of metal, cutting it, uh, drilling a couple of holes in here, inserting some rev nuts, and then just bolting it into place, and then I can mount uh, my tablet mount, mount my iPad right here, and mount my phone mount to put it over here, and then a GoPro mount to mount my GoPro right here in the center, facing the driver's seat. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and do it. All right, just pulled up to IMS, Industrial Metal Supply. I'm gonna be looking for probably a 14 or a 12 gauge for the dash piece, for the device holder. Uh, while I'm here, I am gonna be getting some probably 3 16 or quarter inch like flat strap steel to finish off that body mount chop. So I'm gonna leave the camera outside because I don't know how they are about it. Just got home, ended up getting this sheet of 10 by 10 this is an 11 gauge also real quick guys how many of you guys want to see some content about my drawer systems i built these drawer systems for forerunners land cruisers and the gx's of course so comment down below if you want to see more of these drawer systems All right, I'm gonna start off by taking a couple of measurements. So what I'm wanting to do is essentially transfer over this shape right here to my cardboard, then to my metal. So let's see, it's narrowest point in the back. I'd say that we've got seven inches. It's almost seven inches exactly. Seven. And then this length here from the back to the front edge right there is two and three eighths. And then the widest point here to here, it's gonna be seven and three quarters. Yeah, seven and three quarters. Cool. And I essentially want the device shelf to come out and then bend right here probably gonna end up being like a 15 degree bend to keep this flat and then I want it to probably be I don't know I'd say I'd say two and a half inches I'd probably want it to hang about two and a half inches off of this so it'll be it'll come out to about here and I do actually also want it to kind of follow this taper out Give me a little bit of room out here, a little further, a little wider. That way I can mount my phone on the far left side, mount my tablet on the far right side, and then have space in the middle to kind of cram a GoPro right there. So let's uh, transfer all these measurements over to this cardboard, trace it out, and then uh, transfer it to metal, and then bolt it in. All right, got all of the angles cut out. Got everything transferred over to this sheet. Now I'm going to just cut this outer perimeter out and then this shape right here. This is to go around the clock controls and display controls. Um, and then after this is all cut out, then I'm gonna score this on the bottom, bend it to a certain degree and then just tack weld it and then fit it up.
All right, I've pulled this out. Now I'm going to install the nut certs on the bench. Should stop it from cracking. I'm gonna drill this out to, I want to say 3 eighths. I'm gonna nut cert the rest of these. And then I'm going to mount the plate in here and then I'm gonna to try to reinforce everything. All right, I got the plate to bolt in. All the bolts lined up, except for this one. It was just barely off, uh, but it's all right. Underneath, you can see the cracking of the plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix up JB Weld, Minute Weld, epoxy, and I'm going to essentially uh, epoxy around all of these nut certs and all of the cracking parts. Let's epoxy it. All right, got some mixed up, start applying it. I'll just pour it in. Oh, this epoxy is already setting. It's already hot. Yep, it's set. Come on, come on. All right, don't want that stuff. I'm gonna have to mix a new batch for this side. What I could probably do is actually pour the JB Weld straight in here and then just mix it in there. Let me try that. Grab my fancy mixing stick. Yeah, this is gonna work just fine. All right, got it epoxied here and there. Just gonna let this set up for about 15 minutes and then come back out, check it, and then I should be able to uh, do the final install. All right, got everything installed. Got the dash put back together, so this is how it looks from the driver's seat. Phone mount here. I've got enough room for my tablet mount to go right up here. And then uh, the idea was to put a GoPro mount right here. Um, I just have to see how the GoPro looks next to this phone case and uh, in front of the tablet mount to see if it blocks anything. Worst case scenario, I could always put a GoPro mount underneath it right here. Just have a GoPro right there. I don't really need to use this screen unless it's for like climate control stuff. Um, yeah, the shelf's gonna work great. You'll notice that I didn't drill a bunch of holes and lighten this up and take a bunch of weight out of it. Uh, I actually changed my mind on that because I might switch to like a ball mount style uh, for phone mounting and device mounting, uh, like a RAM mount stuff. Uh, right now I'm using mob armor. It's just mob armor isn't quite like versatile enough like the RAM mount stuff is. Yeah, this is it. All right, next project I'm going to work on is building a fold-down table to set in right here. Uh, so first step is going to be to take this piece out. Uh, whoever the last owner was, I guess just cut the net out that was in here um, and removed it that way. But you have to take this panel off and there's screws from the back that hold this plastic trim on. So I'm going to pull those screws, pull this trim off, uh, that way I can kind of form a table into this shape right here to fit nice and flush within this cavity. Let's go ahead and pull this off. I know that I'm going to have to pull this toolkit out and then from there I should just be able to pop plastic panels 
off to then start removing this hatch cover. Whenever you're removing body panels or trim, I suggest using some type of a plastic pry tool. This one's old, it's seen better days, that's why it's all like chipped and marred. Uh, Harbor Freight sells a good kit for it. Alright, so it's pretty much these screws that need to come out, and then that uh, plate's going to be able to just drop right out of there. I did lose a clip, so I'm going to go grab it. I do have an idea. My idea is to take a half inch or three quarter inch thick piece of wood, probably a half inch piece of wood, and trim it to fit this exact shape. All right, I made a piece to fit within this uh, cutout right here, um, just out of three quarter inch radiata pine plywood. And then I took a piece of half inch plywood and ripped it down into these uh, inch and a half by six inch blocks, two of them, double sided tape on the back, sticking it onto the front and then I'm flipping the entire thing upside down and then screwing it in from the back. This is where I'm going to hinge this table. All right now I can flip it over and then screw these in from the back. Left to right it looks like I need to take a little bit off of right here and then right here. This is the hinges I'm going to be using. I'm going to take that material off and then secure it with these hinges. Alright, got the hinges on and then I got the panel back onto the GX. So it hinges from here just fine. All I need to do is secure it somehow with uh, either a cable or a support underneath. I'm probably going to go for a cable. Um, I might even one day add like a strut to it. It's like a gas strut. I don't know, I might just do a cable cable or a chain, like a skinny chain would be good. All right. This table is done. And it does support a can. <laughs> and I'm sure it can uh, support a whole lot more, but I'm not super happy with this cable system that I came up with. It's essentially just cables, ferrules, riv nuts, bolts, and screws. Um, that keep it flat like that, but I want to be able to put like a five gallon thing of water on here and be able to like dispense water from the All right, I was about to call this project good and done, but I noticed that the riv nut on this side was just not gonna hold so I actually ordered something last night and it already got here this morning I ordered some gas struts, so this is a 10 inch extended length gas strut and a six inch collapsed. So collapsed should be six inches and it should be able to fit back here behind this the cavity. It should work great. These are the mounts that came with it. It's like a 
right angle 90 degree style ball mount and then a surface mount. I might have to grind a flat spot onto it that way it can sit further back in this recess so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to actually pull this panel this panel off again and try to mount this like very securely onto this plastic. All right, so to dial these in, what you're gonna have to do is loosen these screws on both sides um, and just barely snug them up. That way you can close the gate while looking to see uh, where the sweet spot of this strut essentially is um, for it to be able to close all the way and then to open all the way. I did that and um, essentially all the way out, ran all the way out just like that is where these want to be. So I'm going to tighten the screws down here To release these, all you do is put a flathead behind this little spring clip right here, a little bit of pressure, and then pull the strip away from the ball mount. Sweet, works good. A little noisy because of the hinges but uh it'll still work closes all the way opens all the way yeah it looks really good so all i have to do to finish this is sand it stain it and then seal it and it'll be done and then after that i can work on building a quarter turn latch to actually hold this in place up here what do you guys think Drop your comments down below and uh, let me know. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and uh, join the ride, let's see where it takes us. Later.